time. Now, Australia is again urging China to reveal more information and to proceed with the case against its four detained employees in China at a faster pace. Bloomberg Stephen Angle has the details from Beijing. Steve. Yeah, as Linda, Australian Foreign Minister Stephen Smith say, uh, speaking in Thailand says they have no choice but to treat this case as a matter of Chinese law. That being said, he again met with his Chinese counterparts at the APEC meetings in Phuket and pressed for more expediency in the case. Now, iron ore business heads are meeting this week in Beijing. Uh, they are looking as well for more information. Issues like this can't be swept under the carpet, but um, I think we have to respect um, China uh, and give them their due. They are investigating this. So you'd have to give them the, the, the belief that there's something in it. Although I would say that I respect Rio a lot. Um, I, they certainly wouldn't condone any malpractices. Stern Hu is Rio's head of its iron ore business in China. He's been detained since July 5th on allegations of stealing state secrets. Now, under Chinese law, he can be jailed for seven months before being charged. Australian diplomats say China has not been very forthcoming on the nature of the allegations, leading a number of media to speculate that the Rio employees may have obtained sensitive information on China's iron ore contract negotiations. I don't believe that the, uh, the trade between uh, Australia and particularly Western Australia and China has ever been under threat, uh, nor do I believe that uh, those issues will uh, have a permanent or long-term damaging impact on investment in projects and Chinese investment in Australia. But there's no doubt that right now uh, there is uh, an element of tension in the relationship that hasn't been there before, and uh, that needs to be addressed. Uh, that relates to iron ore pricing, uh, the proposed BHP Rio merger, uh, Rio executive being placed in detention, a whole lot of issues have compounded. And uh, it's been, in a sense, um, fortunate that I've been able to talk directly to senior Chinese uh, businesses, organisations and, uh, and public officials on those issues. Have you gotten a better indication of the nature of the charges? A lot of the Australian companies have expressed uh, their frustration that they've been learning most about this case through the media and not direct talks. Have you had the direct talks with those Chinese officials and do you have any more details about the Stern Hu and the allegations against him? No, look, I have no details on the allegations against uh, Stern Hu um, and indeed it's, uh, that's a matter for the Australian uh, Embassy to deal with. Uh, I simply took the opportunity uh, to raise uh, my concerns and I think Australia's concerns uh, regarding the detention of Stern Hu. Uh, I did that with the Mayor of Shanghai as a, as a very senior figure uh, in, uh, in China uh, and put the point that uh, I would hope that uh, Stern Hu could have uh, greater access from uh, embassy officials uh, in, and have a uh, legal representation and that the case could be proceeded with uh, quickly and resolved. It would be quite improper for me to, to, to run a commentary on China's legal system. Uh, uh, that is China's sovereignty and China to deal with. Uh, I just hope that uh, it can be dealt with quickly and that we get a result that is, is reasonable. Uh, there are differing definitions. Uh, what might be regarded as commercial information in Australia might be seen uh, as, as, as state secrets in China. They are just simply differences in our system. We need to respect and understand them. And I certainly hope for Mr Wu and his family that it can be resolved uh, in a satisfactory way. Colin Barnett there speaking to us uh, yesterday in Beijing. He also said his office will be much more involved in any future iron ore dealings between Australian commercial entities, AKK, or AKA Rio Tinto, and also China, uh, to try and prevent future problems. And he went on to say, that, uh, on the record, to say that he personally is against the proposed Rio Tinto BHP partnership in iron ore, as he says it would put too much of the state's resources, iron ore, into the hands of one company. Pass Linda. Steve, thanks.